Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoroma and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install map editor on version 1.48 So like always make sure you download and install all the requirements that's in my description below Make sure that your requirements is the latest version Once you guys have completed that then I will leave this mod in my description below This mod is the most important mod for map editor because map editor only supports version 1.7 native UI.dll. So I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. Once you guys have completed that process, then I will leave this mod inside my description as well. So make sure you guys do download this mod. So once you guys have completed downloading all the mods and the requirements, we're gonna get straight into it. So all you guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as you guys can see, I have already installed my requirements, so I don't need to install them. Once you guys have finished installing your requirements, then all you guys got to do is head to your scripts folder. Now as you guys can see, my scripts folder is completely empty. So we are going to install our mod. So before we do install the mod guys, make sure you guys have native UI version 1.7 ready on the side. Open up your map editor extract folder. And now all you guys got to do, okay, is select the whole files, okay, everything inside the extract folder and then drag it inside your scripts folder now exit out of your extract folder now inside the native ui extract folder all you guys got to do is select native ui.dll and drag it inside your scripts folder and now replace your guys files and that's all you guys got to do exit out of your native ui.dll Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your guys folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back as Franklin, so as you guys can see we are in the game and my game did not crash the okay? game, so there's been so many uh, comments inside the website on gta5mods.com that people have been saying that their game keeps crashing or they are hearing funny noises or the F7 isn't working so they need the mod updated but guys unfortunately that the mod still works okay there's nothing wrong with it okay uh, I cannot hear any sound and as you guys can see I am in the game and the game is not crashed and yeah so I can't hear any sound right now um, I will turn up my my volume. I think my volume is turned down. Yes, it is. So yeah, I cannot hear any sound in the game. Yep, nothing, guys. So there's nothing wrong with the mod, guys. Okay, it still works on version one point seven, and even in the version of the game one point forty eight. So now we are going to see. If the mod does open so to open up the menu is F7 and now we are going to press F7 and then there you go guys see so the mod does work okay uh, yeah it does work guys okay so unfortunately guys okay there's nothing wrong with the mod okay it's just your files okay just to let you guys know okay I have installed this mod inside a clean GTA V folder so make sure that you guys 
install this mod inside a clean DJV folder because sometimes other mods does affect the mod to work okay so make sure you guys do test the mod out first okay because as you guys can see I did install the mod and it does work okay guys so um, yeah so make sure you guys do work on the mods properly okay because I have been modding for about seven years now and I know what I'm doing so yeah anyways guys like always I hope you guys do enjoy this mod and we are back here again guys so I hope you guys do enjoy that video just a few notice guys okay really important okay is that you gotta make sure that you download native UI dot DRL version 1.7 and if your game just crashes or keeps on making that sound then I highly recommend you guys uh, just installing this mod inside a clean GTA V folder okay guys because as you guys seen it okay I did install this mod inside a clean GTA V folder and I did go in the game and there was no sound there was no um, crashes there was and the menu did open so I hope you guys do fix your guys mods so with that I see guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys do need any help then let me know in the comments or if you guys need help with any other mods then let me know in the comments and if you guys still get stuck installing this mod then let me know in the comments as well or just head over to my discord server and message me and i will reply back to you so with that all said i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did then smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out